Remember how we humans interact with computers in sci-fi movies? Computer do this, computer stop that. Why we still do not see all this voice interface awesomeness in our homes? Why we can't just say, computer, give me coffee and get the coffee? <laughs> it's not that difficult to implement and today we'll do it. Hey computer, thank you. You are welcome. Here is what we need. SSC32 servo controller. Standard servo, USB to RS232 interface adapter and power source. Start with configuring the servo controller. Make sure these three groups of jumpers are set like it's shown on this picture. Refer to the regular user manual if necessary. Plug the servo to the controller port 0, paying attention to the polarity. Black wire goes to ground. Now connect the controller to the PC and power it up. Anything between 6 and 9 volts will work fine, like this 9 volt battery for instance. Let's use utility code links term to test if we assembled everything correctly. If you move the slider in the links term, the server should move too. You can also control the server by sending commands via a terminal. It's up to you what your robot will do. I attached a card built from LEGO to the servo, so it can move a cup of coffee upon a voice command. The hardware part is ready, let's proceed with the software. Make sure your computer has Java runtime environment installed. If not, download and install it. Download and uncompress this 37MB archive from rtfms.com. It includes everything you need to interact with your robot using voice interface. Running the software is easy. Just run the file called run.bot. It will list all available voices and serial ports. You run the same script with the voice and serial interface parameters that match your taste and system configuration. Now you can control your robot using two voice commands computer, give me coffee, and computer, thank you. What if you want this robot to support more commands? Let me show you how to expand its vocabulary. Install Eclipse IDE and create new project using source files and libraries included in the package. You will need to modify two files. GiveMeCoffee.gram defines all phrases your robot should recognize. Just add new commands here. GiveMeCoffee.java defines what robot does when the voice command is recognized. This code sends commands to the servo controller and synthesizes some speech. You can add your own command processing here, compile the project and have a robot with new capabilities in no time. The program is quite small for the functionality it provides. This is because it utilizes the power of these five awesome components, of which I'd like to highlight the speech recognition library called Sphinx 4 from Carnegie Mellon University. It even can recognize my accent. Great job, Sphinx team! Our robot is ready to amaze your friends. One problem with it? It's quite expensive. In the following episodes of RTFM's video blog, we'll talk about how to reduce its price and make it do more cool stuff. Way more. Keep watching.